Good morning. All right, so I got kind of a follow-up vlog. Uh, a lot of people were interested when I was talking about, you know, how communication is affecting our lives nowadays. Um, quick uh, thing I want to cover right there. You see the big old water cup 30-day uh, water challenge still going strong. Um, I'm also covering the mod I'm using t in each re uh, vlog now. So this is going to be the Tesla 2 sub box. I have the dot com atomizer with the dot com chuff. And I'm vaping sugar water purple by dot com. All of those actually made it onto my top fives list at uh, nitrobexreviews.com. So what I want to talk about today is long distance relationships. Um, kind of was one of the topics on the usage of media and how it affects us nowadays. Long distance relationships are becoming much, much more commonplace. And it's because of some of the tools you see behind me that we can do that. I will definitely start this off saying long distance relationships take a lot of trust a lot of trust now there's a good side and a bad side to that so um, the bad side is obviously if the trust can't be gained it gets broken off pretty quickly however if you have that trust and you have an end game and goal so for example in my current situation I'm hoping within a couple years that we can be in the same state maybe not living together but in the same state that being said, um, you have something to look forward to. And when you finally get into that face-to-face -face relationship, it's so much easier because you already have that huge amount of trust. Um, you can use a lot of our ways of traveling to get there in the meantime. For example, I'm looking at making a trip at least once a month to go up and see um, the girl that I'm talking to. That being said, um, it, it actually really doesn't cost much more than when I was going out face-to-face -face dating. You know, I'd spend $100 on dinner and a movie. Now I'm spending $40 on a bus ticket and, you know, $60 when I get up there. So it works out about the same. It's really not financially that different there's a bit of a time commitment involved in it um also using this technology we have you can keep the communication up a lot easier than what many people think sorry about getting my hand in the shot there i am shooting this on cell phone as that's what was requested um for example date night dinner and a movie we both ordered pizza I took the computer back there, I turned on Netflix, and took my cell phone, we got in a Google Hangout, she was in the Google Hangout, we ate our pizza, we relaxed, we talked and watched a movie. It was awesome. Would have it been better if I was there? Of course it would. But that's not always a luxury we have nowadays. Um... Communication in a long-distance relationship especially is key. Easy way to do this, and it should not be work. If it's work, maybe you're not cut out for long-distance relationships. But um, long-distance relationships have been around for quite a while. But something we can do now, like where you used to be able to just pick up the phone and talk to them, and that was it. Now, like, I can send a good night text and instead of just having good night, smiley face, hard, or something like that, I can do good night and take a selfie and send it along with it. It makes it that much more personal. It makes it that much real, you know? Um, checking in with her. Uh, for example, when I lived with the ex wife, you know, if she was off at 515. Um, she would be home at like 6 or something, okay? It would take her like 45 minutes to drive home. If it was 6.30 and she wasn't there, I'd call her and be like, are you okay? Something go wrong. 
wasn't trying to check up on her, just, you know, make sure everything was okay. You can do the same thing. Um, for example, I happen to know when she gets up, when she goes to work, when she gets off of work, uh, when she's done hanging out or eating dinner, okay? I expect texts around about that time. Do I freak out if she doesn't send me one? No, we are, we're busy people nowadays. This is 2015. We all have lives. We have stuff to do. But, like, if I don't get it, I can send her a text just like I would when I was with the ex-wife and be like, everything okay? And not flip out and she would respond back, yeah, everything's fine. Or, you know, no, the car broke down or something like that. You can have that same level of communication using the new modern stuff. So... There's a couple quick thoughts for you. Um, if you like this, please let me know. If you don't, I'll go back to more general topics. Um, again, doing this because y'all seem to like when I talked about the communication stuff. Just food for thought. Anyhow, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.